Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our annual Best Robot Vacuum video for 2023. We've tested more robot vacuums than ever this year and are really excited to share our favorites. We buy all of these robots ourselves and put them through all kinds of tests that are designed to find out which ones are actually the best. We put all their specs and features and test results into a spreadsheet and give them scores for each category. And in this video, I'll reveal the top five robot vacuums that had the highest scores out of almost 90 tested. But because those top five are going to be pretty expensive, I'll also include my mid-level price range picks and a budget pick as well. So links in the description to every Everything I'll mention, and let's get started. Before I get to the results, I'll talk a little about the categories we look at, starting with performance. We do extensive pickup tests on hard floors and carpets with all types and sizes of debris, and they all did pretty good here. This is one area where I don't find that much variation with robot vacuums from the least to the most expensive. If they have a mop, we test it with dried on stains like coffee and grape juice, as well as wet stains. We also measure things like their airflow and suction power and do what I call crevice and deep clean tests to see how good they are at vacuuming more embedded debris. Another important category is features. With robot vacuums getting more advanced every year, we have to constantly update this section of the spreadsheet. For example, this year we've really seen the rise of robots that not only have mops, but vibrating or spinning mops that lift up when they sense carpets, with auto empty bins that wash and dry the mop pads and refill the tanks. There's also been a lot of advancements in obstacle avoidance systems and new app features. All in all, we now track and score about 50 possible features. Another category is navigation and battery efficiency. Here, we run them on a fixed floor plan several times on various power settings and calculate things like how efficient they are, how much area they covered, and how good their battery life was. With all that said, let's take a look at our top five robot vacuums of 2023. Starting off with number five, the Echovax X2 Omni. This is the new flagship from Echovax, and it has almost everything you could ask for in a robot vacuum. In fact, it had the highest score I've ever seen in the features category. It probably would have ranked much higher in our top five, but Echovax decided to use a new navigation system on the X2, so instead of a top-mounted LiDAR like they've been doing for years, they went with a new kind of internal LiDAR system, which I did not like as much. It was certainly good enough at navigation, and most people would not notice a difference, but it struggled with some of our navigation tests like edge cleaning and overall coverage. Number four is the Roborock Q Revo. It's one of the cheaper options in our top five, and it had the highest score in the performance category of these five. It lost a few points because its obstacle avoidance system didn't do as well as compared to the others, but overall, the Roborock Q Revo has a lot of bang for the buck with good reviews. Number three is the Echovax T20. It ranked pretty high in all of our categories. It had one of the best obstacle avoidance scores of the top five, and it has a ton of useful features, but its online reviews are mixed, so so I have a hard time enthusiastically recommending it, but based on our results, it's a great buy. Number two is the Roborock S7 Max Ultra. The S7 Max Ultra beat out the more expensive Roborock, the S8 Ultra, in our scoring system. It scored near the top of every category, it has all the features you could want, and it's cheaper than the top of the line models. It also has one of the best reviews of any in our top five, and it's one that I feel the most comfortable recommending. Before I move on to the number one spot, I have an honorable mention, which is the iRobot Roomba Combo J9 Plus. The new Roomba, with its unique mopping system, had a higher performance score than any of the others in the top five. And I think it's one of the best robots for keeping your floors really clean. But the reason it didn't make our top five is because it lacked the auto mop washing feature and all the related features which all the others in the top five had. So if you don't mind washing the mop pads yourself, the Roomba Combo J9 Plus is certainly worth considering. Number one is the new Dream L20 Ultra. This one just came out in late 2023. The L20 Ultra has a lot of great features and one of the most unique mopping systems that I've seen, where it uses magnets to automatically leave behind the mop pads as it vacuums carpets. It also has auto mop pad lifting if you prefer that. But as I said, the L20 Ultra is brand new, so I would watch the reviews very carefully to make sure there are no deal breakers. But as far as our scoring system, it was the best overall in 2023. Let's move on to our mid-price range picks. 
If you have mostly hard floors in your home and you want a good, cheaper robot vacuum that also has a mop, but you don't care as much about auto empty bins or washing the mop pads yourself, then you should look at Roborock's brand new model, the Roborock Q5 Pro, not to be confused with the Q5, which is much older and doesn't have a mop. The Q5 Pro seems to be specifically designed to fit in this price range. It has an old style gravity fed mop. If you don't have carpets, it can vacuum and mop the whole house at the same time. But if you have a mix of hard Hard floors and carpets, you'll need to draw no-go lines over the carpeted areas every time you mop and do a separate run for vacuuming carpets, which is what it used to be like before all these new features came out, but it really is a great price for what you're getting. My second mid-range pick is the new Shark Detect Pro. This is Shark's new robot vacuum, and while it does not have a mop, it does have a bagless auto empty bin and a decent obstacle avoidance system, as well as a host of new fairly unique features. Finally, the budget pick. The Roomba 600 series with Wi-Fi, like the 692 or 694, owns this category. I recently did a video talking about budget robot vacuums with the conclusion that whatever the Roomba 600 series currently is, it is the reigning champion in the budget world. The major difference with budget robots, though, is that they navigate in a random way. They don't make maps. They still cover small to medium-sized homes pretty good. They just run randomly until their battery runs low, and then they return to the dock. The Roomba 600s are actually better at things like deep cleaning carpets than many of the robots in our top five. So if you have a lot of carpets and you don't care at all about frills, consider one of these. Links in the description to everything I mentioned here, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.